Beat time. Uh. Welcome, Boyar Tactics here, and uh, today I decided to make another tutorial on the Codex mod. Due to the fact that somebody um, asked uh, me if I could help them, um, they have difficulty installing. Uh, um, co on combiners, so if you want to have additional races in the codex mod, you can by installing the mods themselves and then install them uh, like um, not install, change some files so that the codex mod will load them up as well. So let's get started so this is more of a combiner tutorial so uh, for those who want to have written um, this uh, tutorial you can click here like go to their uh, codex moddable page click on tutorials and um, combiner mods combiner mod so here you have um, the, the complete instruction and also a image showing how it should uh, look in the end. But in this example, you have um, like all the modules, like uh, Tyranids, Inquisition, Demon Hunter, Steel Legion, and Black Templar. But it uh, even. Uh, but I will show you how it's uh, done, and if you only want to put one. One mod only, and or all of them. It's it's just uh, um, like adding a line in a file. Okay, so um, let's get started. First of all, you need, of course, to install the codex mod. Just unrar everything in your Dawn of War Soulstorm folder, like this one, and then uh, the part two, and uh, the patch over it. And that's the codex. I already made a video on it so I won't bother then um, as in this example I uh, downloaded the, the mods I will leave links uh, links in the description to um, to the mods themselves so that you can download them so we have the Black Templars uh, the Demon Hunt Steel Legion and Tyranid mod so after you I already installed them all of them after you done all of that, go to your, let's see, Dawn of War uh, Soulstorm folder. Okay, so as you can see, here is the Codex mod. Then uh, the Tyranids, see, Demon Hunt and Black Templars, right there, the module. So after that, you need to find, as it states right here, you need to open the codex free uh, underline free underline five module. Like the modules themselves are something like load the mod kind of ish. So um, where is it? There we go. Then you go like properties. I I mean open. And uh, it will ask you um, for the default program, like for me it already recognized that I opened it in Notepad. If it uh, doesn't for you, just open with, you should have something like that. like here, open with, and you select uh, Notepad. Once you open it with Notepad, you'll get uh, all this stuff right here. So, to add a mod, you do uh, you do the following like copy the first uh, line here like require mod one uh, equals codex base copy leave a space there and paste then change it every uh, all the lines below to two and then three and then four and change this codex base let's see to what you want to add like let's see the tyranids okay go and just copy the name of the module so you press uh, rename and then copy so that should uh, usually the name of the module is the name of the mod so now uh, let's save it okay and after that you are all set 
when uh, when you will uh, load the you know the mod it will load also the tyranids so let's see if uh, if this works so here we are in a game with the don't know war codex right here it's written 3. Point, oh gee 3.5 it's uh, written very small for me so let's see if it works like i already can tell it kind of work so go into army painter and then bam tyranids i guess that's cool right look at those bad boys yeah and also i heard that there might be a problem with the ai not responding like if you play against the tyrannies they won't do anything so let's test that right now okay skirmish okay this might take and it's only for por uh, for uh, experimental purpose thingy okay let's find g those are a lot of races, oh my goodness. Like, this mod has <laughs> the most races ever. Like, and I, I beat Dark Angel, why not? Easy. Annihilate. Uh, uh, I hate control area. Okay, that's bad. Uh, let's put it on uh, insane. Why not? So that we can uh, see the AI doing its work. Hopefully. So start game. Okay, it's ready. So let's see um, some scouts. This should work. So hopefully it will work. Scouts awaiting orders. Scouts advance. Search commencing. Like this is the greatest strategy ever. Like scout marine rush plus a tech marine. Scouts reporting to duty. Scouts reporting for duty. Scouts in position. Scouts advance. Scouts in position. Scouts oh, yes, reporting for duty. Scouts in position. I sense danger. Rooted out. Scouts here. The map is quite Enemy big. Yeah, it takes a lot of time. Like. One minute and Scouts something to so Scouts awaiting orders. Gee, that's a long Move walk. And mark any enemy position. Scouts in position. Will I be able to beat the AI? I wonder. That would be cool in a... Scouts ready. Like Yes, my lord. That would be awesome. Scouts ready. So yeah, here you go. Scouts he uh he works the like he does what he does best. Killing my units, of course. Well, let me just check even more. Like, the AI try to um, capture those points. Does he do? Does he build anything else? Let's see. Gathering intelligence. Scouts advance. Okay. Well, um, he already built that thing there, so I think it kind of worked, maybe. It's very strange that uh, they didn't uh, build um, whatever uh, the barracks of the Tyranids are called. Let's give him a minute or two to see what he does. 
and you must be wondering like like right now why are you doing this why uh, well uh, due to the fact that there might be some problems uh, with the ai of the like the tyrannids uh also in multiplayer like uh, there were a lot of people saying that uh, in multiplayer the ai does nothing so well i'm just checking right now if in single player is the um, AI is working at least kind of Scouts ready. Help me invest your boy. Okay. This might be the I just wanna see a structure from it, that's all. Okay, he killed me. So is there a structure here anywhere? Please build a structure. Am I asking too much? Come on. So he already. Okay, so he works definitely. He builds a broodlord. Oh no, some poor mines. So technically, it works, I guess. Let me get my tech mine. That's lovely. So what does he do now? Does he continue to capture points? Scouts here. Let's see. He should attack my scouts, like. On patrol. Yep. Search That's commencing. what he's going Search to commencing. do. Scouts advance. Search commencing. Scouts advance. Scouts here. Okay, maybe. They still want to see that building, darn it. And come on, build something. Well, not units. Okay, another spore mine. Okay, so basically it works, I guess. So now I will exit from Dawn of War and uh, add all the other mods so you can see it uh, works also with them. Okay, so be right back. So now uh, we have to add uh, other mods as well. So let's find the module again. Open it with uh, Notepad. And now um, I think there are three additional mods. So we make Three more entries, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I can't count. That would be funny. So, um, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Hopefully that's correct, let's see. No, one, yeah, I made one. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so I guess one is not necessary. Silly me. So I can't count, that's lovely. Okay, so this should work. Uh, really, like, it shouldn't have been Inquisition, Demon Hunt, Steel Legion, Tyranids, and... Uh, I don't know. Let's see, anyways. Um, so now, let's add the uh, Inquisition, why not? So re rename, copy, and they just watch out that you don't rename the module. Like that would be seen in a way. Uh, yes, I don't think it would have like an effect. It might have. I'm not sure. But uh, be better be safe than sorry. So now um, uh, black templars mod. Okay, there we go, BT module. Okay, so I did not make a mistake. That's, oh no, don't tell me I, okay, copy, paste. So now, yeah, I don't understand that. Did I count something twice? I wonder. So, and the last is still Legion. Okay, rename, copy, and paste. Steel Legion, BT Mod, Tyranids, 
Like, shouldn't that be the same? No. Something is missing right here. Like, here's an example, yes. Uh, Steel Legion and Black units more. No, alternatively, you can win, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that's interesting like this line should uh, is no no longer uh, no longer there well then i guess it's not needed something i have no idea well it's if it is written in that tutorial then it must probably be true okay so you need those dxp2 and uh w40k Okay, save it. it again. Perfect. Just watch out that you don't change any other stuff around here because who knows what you might end up with. Okay, so let's test this again. Okay, where is it? So. Okay, so we are in game and I made a mistake. You should not delete the line codex base do not uh, they made a mistake in their tutorial but now it works so after i uh, added uh, the line again uh, it uh, works like army painter so um first of all we have the steel legion there you go guys perfect works then let's see the black templars Small and stiff, mighty indeed. The answer's a call to battle. Okay, and uh, what was like the Tyranid and what was the last? Oh gee, my memory is just awful. Ah, there we go, Demon Hunters. So, Inquisition. See? It works. Okay, so now I will end the video by showing you yet again how the file should uh, look. Okay, so this is what you need. Do not delete this. Don't. This is not, uh, not good. <laughs> uh, this is um, faulty like if you delete the codex base you won't have um, you have will have uh, models missing so you need this okay do not copy everything here so yeah that's it hopefully you found uh, this video helpful and if you don't want to install like you can just delete this part if you delete uh, those you are uh, ready to go with the Tyranids and Inquisition Demon Hunt. So you can put the mods you want there. Okay. So, um, yeah. So have fun killing stuff and see ya in the next video. Yeah.